Okay, so godliness with contentment is a great game. We know that. That was one of our heart checks from last year. Um, you know, whether you have or you don't have, whether you, you know, in a season or out of season, are you content? And that's really important. But to build on that, um, the example that I kept giving in a conversation was, and this is where I'm at, what I'm truly learning how to do. Um, and y'all know I've said this, like I carry so much vision, like to the point to where it can be frustrating sometimes. Cause it's like, Hey, like I only know how to see like two, three decades out. Like, so how do I live right now in this moment? Like that's one of the hardest things for me. So when God shows you the top of a staircase, say that's like step 50, are you going to be happy and content at step two and a half? Or are you not going to be happy until you get to step 50? So learning how to truly still know that you're supposed to be faithful, loyal, holy, righteous to God and stuff and content at step 2.5 or step 50. Why is that important? Because your vision grows and expands with you. So you see step 50 right now at step 2.5. But what happens when you get to step 15 and now you see step 70? You're never going to be happy because that's how it works. Your vision and stuff continues to grow. The further you get, the more you see. If y'all saw my Instagram, I used one of the quotes um, from over the weekend. Go as far as you can see. And then when you get there, you'll be able to see further. You have to learn how to be happy where you are. Happy on that step even if you can see all the way out the way out here now like i said that was a heart check we had last year but that's something we always have to be mindful of it's not a heart check that you do one time like you can find yourself in a position where it's like hey why am i feeling away because i'm still not at step 50 okay but now you're not even at step 2.5 sis you like it step 30 37 why are you tripping, right? But but I'm still not at 50 though. So that's something you always got to check no matter what arena it is in life, whether it's your business, whether it's your ministry, something I've been wanting to tell y'all. I remember when I was getting like three views per video. Why was I making the videos? It wasn't for views. It wasn't for likes. It's because that's what God told me to do. Now, I can honestly tell y'all, I didn't see me here because that's not something... Um, I, I absolutely asked him for, but to be here, like, do y'all know the difference between like three subscribers and 3000? That's a pretty big difference. Okay. So no matter what it is you're talking about, hair growth, I dreamt about my hair last night, hair growth, whatever it is, your job, like what I'm walking in now, I can honestly tell you, I ain't never been in this place. Is this place perfect? Absolutely not. But God is okay. But I've never been in this place. And I remember praying to be in this place, seeing myself in this place a long time ago, right? A very long time ago. Was life not good all the way up until this place? That's not true, right? That's not true at all. So learning how to be happy and truly being patient and, and in waiting, like what, what is your attitude, your posture and, and building and getting there? Because then you learn different things. And so he was highlighting um, just stairs in general. So that's going to be the next um, word. But in the process of climbing upstairs and the clock in the in the climb. All right. Come on. My, uh, Miley Cyrus really is the climb and the climb does things for you so that by the time you get to a higher step, that's at a higher uh, level, you know how to keep climbing even when you get there. Okay. So I don't know who needs that reminder. For some, it may be like first time breakthrough. Like, Ooh, I really need to hear that. Like heart check for some of us. It's a reminder heart check, but we're going to always have to do that. And I must say in this season, it's not as intense as it was last year when that was our goal. Like when he was really like, no, get it together. This year's seems a bit different so far. Like it's more so the um, maturity and the um, humility and the heal healing process of the heart. Not so much as um, forget you, God, because we beyond that. 
but it's still continued heart checks. But even those are on a different level. We're not having heart checks at step number five. We having them at step number fifteen. At step number fifteen, but realizing that when we move up, everything else does. Like so, we have to learn how to be like your step fifteen now can look and feel like step three in a future season. Do you get what I'm saying? It's always going to move. The target expands and grows. I shared that on a Mo Monday Motivation last year. It expands and it grows with you. So we have to learn how to be content and happy and patient because I don't know. Like I, that long suffering is a fruit of the spirit. And I'm getting to a place now to where it's like, um, like with waiting, like, I'm in a process. Like waiting is not idle. It's not sitting still, right? Like I'm still moving even though I'm waiting, right? To reach a certain level. I pray this helps and makes sense. <laughs> like I have to come back. Um, I kept asking God like, why am I using 2.5? Don't have step. Like why am I saying step 2.5? Don't have step. Whatever you're supposed to do, whatever instructions you have at a step, do that so you can go higher instead of half stepping down there and then trying to figure out why you can't get to what you're seeing. I am painfully aware of what I'm not doing and what I should have been doing. An instruction I got nearly a year ago. Painfully aware of that. Like, I wish I would have just listened when you had first told me to do that and to move like that. Now here we are and it's like, I don't have no choice because if I want to go up the stairs, I got to do the instruction that came at that step. I can't half step it, okay? So I don't know who else needs that, but don't half step it. Just follow the instructions and be happy and follow the instructions and you're going to look up one day. It's going to be like, oh my gosh, look at where I'm at. So do not half step it. You want it to be a thorough execution. Mm, you do. See, because then I transition from prophetic Meg to um, business coach Meg. Like, but you want it to be a thorough execution. And when you do it thoroughly at these lower steps, it makes it so much easier when you get higher. You don't want it to be its progress. Now there's more exposure. Now more people see it, no matter what it is you're talking about, because y'all might think I'm talking about marriage. I'm talking about work. You don't want to get up there. And because you didn't do a thorough execution at the bottom, it's now harder at the top. Do what God is telling you to do. Don't half step and then look at him crazy and be wondering why it's going like this at this step because you didn't do what you're supposed to do down there. Everybody regroup. Just do whatever he told y'all to do. You may know exactly what step I'm talking about. A step might be coming to your mind right now as I talk, right? But whatever that step was, go back to that step and thoroughly execute at that step.